What's up everybody, it is Daydreams. Thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, please tell some of your Alliance members in your Alliance or your Kingdom to come to check out the channel. We do streams here, we do giveaways here, we do all kinds of things here involving Clash of Kings, and we're trying our best to make the community better and stronger together. So, okay, I just noticed that Belleth and Rick were hitting all these Mad Dragons and Fire Dragons, and... I guess I've been not paying enough attention. I've been doing other games and stuff. I'm trying to like broaden, get into more Clash Royale, Agaria. I might try that Vain Glory and some just other games, Battlefield, all kinds of different games. But I need to get focused on Clash of Kings a little bit more because I guess these things give you some really good rewards. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what kind of rewards you're getting from these Fire Dragons, Bloodlust Mad Dragons. I guess they give really good rewards like badges, stones, all these amazing things. And I haven't been paying enough attention to actually take advantage of that. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, pay more attention and get, get the rewards and everything. But okay, today's episode is about the bubbles. I'm getting so many messages about these bubbles. So listen, guys, you've got to understand that we've got to kind of meet them in the middle somewhere because what they're trying to do is they're trying to prevent bullying. But what they don't know and what they didn't understand is that they're actually creating more bullying by doing this so when you pop your shield with an act of battle it then puts a cooldown on your shield so if i go ahead and scout my farm right now or a friend's farm or attack a farm basically what's going to happen is it's going to put me on a cooldown time part so i think if i like undo a 24 hour shield it's like longer because someone told me that they undid like two hours left on their eight hour shield and it gave them like 12 minute cooldown well, the problem is, is that within that 12 minute cooldown, if you're hitting your farms and someone speed attacks you or ports next to you and starts attacking you, it's going to be really hard for you to, you would have to then teleport, which is going to cost 2000 gold. And then after you teleport close, you're going to have to like go to your map, go far, far away and teleport again and hope that they don't speed up to you. So it's not really a good thing. Now we've got to meet them in the middle guys. Here's the thing. When we tell them that we don't like something and that things are wrong we have to give them a reply like well here's how a way that you could do it that would both stop what you're trying to prevent and help um you know help people and it's going to keep us from being zeroed so one thing one idea that i thought of is that okay so if someone's porting into hives and they're attacking and then when they're rallied they shield then when they're done being rallied they do it again well what you could do is you could have like um for the first time that you pop a shield you can then shield again if you're attacked but so like okay say i pop my shield right now i'm hitting my farms hitting my farms and then i get attacked i can then shield okay now if that guy leaves and then i start hitting my farms again then i'll have a cooldown period so you get like a basically a one-time break so the first time like let's say every eight hours every eight hours it like resets or every 20 once every 24 hours you should at least have a second chance at least once because if not it's gonna be really hard for you to time you're only gonna be able to empty farms and stuff when your shield runs out so in 22 hours and 53 minutes i would have to undo hit my farms and if someone comes and starts hitting me during that i would have to shield and then i wouldn't be able to touch my farms or do anything for another eight or 24 hours and i think that's wrong they definitely got that one wrong and it sucks because we had so much good momentum and everyone was so happy with the game just a couple um you know just yesterday everyone was happy or two days ago everyone was happy with the game but now everyone's upset about this so we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to fix it so yeah um i want to know what you guys think about the bubbles and everything let me know like if you've got some ideas about the bubbles that's what this channel is for is to come up with ideas that are going to improve the game and then hopefully we can pass it on to the developers in a very nice and polite way where they'll be able to um make it better so I guess, let me know in the comment section, guys, do these dragons spawn in these red areas, like on the edge of the map, I believe, I, I think that's what happens, and if they do, is it worth teleporting to, or do you get a free teleport, um, let me ask, so they're saying to kill a mad dragon, you need a prestige 5, so, if you need a prestige 5, is it worth the buffs, is it worth putting on an attack and defense buff, and your dragon glass and your skills just to hit these dragons i mean these guys always flock to them so i'm assuming yeah belleth and rick are getting good points from them so let's see the rewards mad dragon nameplate oh yeah you're getting these dragon scales those are worth a lot and you get grafting stones 
Um, and you get 45. If you get number one, you get 45 teleport shards, which is the most to teleport. So yeah, I would say it's worth teleporting to. Even if you get number two, or number three even, you're getting shards. So yeah. Yeah, I would say it's worth teleporting to. If you can get top three especially. Even top... Yeah, top three gets a dragon scale. So those dragon scales are really hard to get. And unless you're spending a lot of money. Um, I seen they had a pack where you can get $100 for 100 of them. So if you just keep hitting these uh, dragons, you're going to get, you know, pretty good rewards from them. So... The red went away, so maybe a new dragon's going to... Uh, he said to check my system mail. World boss noticed a uh, mad dragon. Was killed by Rickstar. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess it shows up in your mail and then you go hit him. I guess I've been in the game for a little while. I just wasn't... I wasn't paying attention, man. That's the thing with this game. you got to really pay attention to all the things that are coming into the game or else you're going to basically fall behind so um yeah that's what this video is about guys is the shield and everything um l let me explain some things to you guys because they're really important tomorrow at 10 p.m eastern standard time is the dragon campaign live stream now the following day on saturday is the kingdom conquest we're facing kingdom 365 i think it's a really strong kingdom and it'll be our first kingdom conquest with the new castle kill switches old castle so it's going to be very very strong uh we'll be able to go and not have to worry about shielding and we're gonna be able to savage the whole kingdom um i hope you guys come along we're gonna stream a lot of it i i i am i'm imagining that i'll start the stream at 8 p.m on saturday and i'll probably go all night maybe try to do 12 hours i don't know it's gonna be a long time though i can tell you that much i'm planning it to be a really fun event I hope that all you guys come, tell your friends, tell your alliance, tell everybody it's going to be a good time, come to the stream, I'll be doing a giveaway, um, giving away some Amazon cards, and uh, yeah, it should be a really, really fun time, looking forward to hanging out with you guys, I always have fun with you in the stream, um, I'll answer any questions you guys have, uh, you can get to know the community here, we have so many good friends uh, from Clash of Kings, Clash Royale, Agario, and the good thing is, is that people from Agario and Clash Royale even watch the streams for Clash of Kings, and then the Clash of Kings guys watch it for those games, so we've got a great community going on here, guys, and um, while we talk about community, I want to touch on something that's very important and um, gets me gets me really annoyed. Be careful with who you trust in this game, guys. Um, you know, that's... Um, well, here's the thing with Clash of Kings. Let me just explain this. Clash of Kings is a war game. So people are putting their money and time into this game. And when you take it from them and you attack them. Or you do something they don't like. Or if they're a vindictive person. It can come back to get you. So just be careful with your privacy is all I'm going to say. And be careful with who you trust. Is basically what I'm saying. I've been fortunate enough to where um, I use fake names with everything. Everything's with everything I use is a fake name, so I make sure to um, stay safe. But this isn't Clash Royale when you beat someone, you just move on and play another match. This isn't even Clash of Clans where when you beat someone, you lose trophies, but you do not lose things that you worked for, like in Clash of Kings. So just be really careful. This is a war game, it brings out very, very nasty emotions in people, including myself sometimes. But I never go as far as to threaten someone's actual, you know, personal life. But there are people out there who will and just be very careful and if it ever does happen report it to the gms um you know try just try to keep safe guys that's all i'm going to say about it i'll get into it later if i need to but for now thank you guys so much for watching come to the live streams this weekend it's gonna be a lot of fun um i'm just really really happy to spend the weekend with you guys and we're gonna have a great time so i'll see you guys in the live streams let me know in the comment section what you think about this bubble situation how we can fix it and let me know more about these dragons if you guys know anything about them so thank you guys so much remember the teamwork makes dreams work smash the thumbs up button i'll see you in the next video peace